everyone. It has been a long time since I've posted. I just checked my channel. It had been six months. Um, here's an update since I have posted. Um, I am no longer a FabFitFun member. I finished another full year of college. Um, I have blonde in my hair now, which is still crazy. Um, and I'm going to talk about why I am no longer a member of FabFitFun in about later in the video. But anyway, here's just an update. So, I'm still with my boyfriend. We've been almost together for a year, so I'm very excited about that. Um, yeah, my hair's different. And it is, I look like a hot mess right now. But anyway, um, I still can't get my computer to let me record videos. And I found a camera on my laptop, but it's... Ugh, you can't see anything. It's blurry. It looks like a 1990s laptop or computer or whatever they had back then. But, so I'm recording it on my phone, so it'll be a small video again, and, yeah, my room's still the same, a bright light, I will figure it out eventually, but this is an update, I'm just saying I'm still here, just had a busy semester, busy, busy, busy semester, um, we're going to talk about makeup and possible subscriptions I may subscribe to just because I've watched other YouTubers do it, and like other stuff like that and how also you can get free samples of makeup or cleansers or anything off the internet just by like putting your name, your address, email and you'll get them. They may take a couple weeks but you'll get them. So anyway, why I unsubscribed as a member from Fat Good Fun? Well, first of all, I forgot to cancel my membership. So the box already shipped, so they told me I could not, ugh, sorry about that, ooh. I could not get a refund because the box shipped. So I could make sure I wouldn't get the summer one, which honestly I wish I would have waited because I liked, I saw what people got for their summer one, and the summer one was a lot better than the spring 2018 one. Oh my gosh. I opened it, it looked like I got a box of crap. Luckily, I was able to sell some of the stuff because it looked like the box was for a middle, oh my lord, middle-aged woman. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I'm 20. I don't need, like, anti-aging cream or, like, stuff like that. I don't need a little clutch bag that has, like, an older lady pattern on it. I don't need some of the things that were in the box. The only thing I used in that box that I love is the Manhattan Beach candle that I got in it. Oh my gosh, I love that. Just that candle alone was worth that hassle with that box. But, but, I still have crap left over from that box that I can't get rid of. I have that ish lip statement palette. I just tried one color out on my hand, and it is, ugh. I'm personally a only wear matte lipstick, liquid lipstick, and occasionally here and there metallic liquid lipstick, and that was not what I got. And the neutral colors were just horrible. The bright colors were just way too 1980s. Nothing against Bad Fit Fun. I loved my winter box. Um, depending on what their fall box looks like, I may resubscribe, but their spring 2018 box just was a big bail. You know, my hair is just horrible. Yeah, and I'm actually wearing a different shirt in the video. I'm not wearing that red flannel that I wore in most of my videos, but I mean, it is summer. So, yeah, I'm wearing a undercover mermaid shirt, as I'm a mermaid lover. Anyway, um, I've been seeing a lot, a lot of other subscriptions I might do instead of, like, rejoining that, that, that. I'm thinking about doing either Ipsy, BoxyCharm, um, the, what is the one? It's, like, goddess, empress thing. It's, like, real vegan, anti, like, not anti, cruelty-free products. My bad. Um, cruelty-free products, very, like, earthy stuff, like, you'll get monthly crystals and, like, rocks and all that, which I do love those, like, rocks that are supposed to, like, help with stress or calming or anxiety. Honestly, in my opinion, they work. 
And like I looked at that, but I kind of like the, you don't get much for what you pay for, so it's like mm, maybe not gonna do that. Then I thought about doing the Walmart beauty box and the, or the Target beauty box, but you really don't get. I want makeup. I don't want like hair care or like toothpaste or deodorant or like a face mask. I want makeup, so I, that's why I thought either Boxy Charm. Oh my God, this zooming in and out blurring is getting on my nerves. But I'll try to edit that. Um, but like Boxy Charm. I can't think. Um, Ipsy, Birchbox, Allure Beauty. I'm trying to think of some other ones. Then I saw a J.K. Rowling Hogwarts Harry Potter fan box. I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I'll do that instead. But I'm going to Disney and Universal for New Year's, so I'll probably get stuff that looks just like that. Maybe a little cheaper. And I'll get stuff I actually want. I mean, you never know what you're going to get in those boxes. So, if I do another subscription box, it will probably be... The only reason I'm hesitant about BoxyCharm is it's a little more pricey. Yeah, $21 isn't bad, but I'm a college student. I don't work. I get money here and there from my grandparents for helping them out. So, the cheaper the better, so that's why I may go with Ipsy. Yeah, you get, like, sample size stuff, but... Why not? Just to test out. Or I may, like, message some of the makeup brands I like or would love to try and try to get, like, samples or PR stuff. And we'll see that. But, anyway, so besides all that, I did get new makeup that I've been wanting to share with you guys and that I love. And, like, I have a product over here that isn't makeup, but it's a cleanser thing that I absolutely love. And, swear by the brand. I swear by the brand. So, this is what I use in the morning. It is the Clean and Clear Morning Boost Facial Scrub. It is oil-free with bursting beads, which I think they're bad for the environment, so I'm sorry. But, it works so good. It gets rid of my oil in the morning. It smells great. Um, it says, wake you, bleh, wakes you up with a refreshing scent and exfoliation. It's a Johnson & Johnson product, so of course, even if this company is cruelty-free, they can't say it because Johnson & Johnson is a cruelty-free company, which kind of sucks, but I've been trying to use more cruelty-free stuff because I saw a video about, like, animal testing from Peter, and oh my gosh, I, like, freaked out. Anyway, so then, here we go back to the cruelty-free stuff. We have the Wet n Wild came out with Metallic Liquid Lipstick. This is the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Metallic Liquid Lipstick in shade Satin Sheets, SKU number 938A. And it's like a little coppery peachy tone. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand. Hopefully we'll be able to, it, like, it looks like a highlighter almost. That's why I'm not a super big fan of, like, the metallics. Because they look like highlight. It's like, if you can see, that kind of, it's not as metallic-y on my thingy. Oh, wait, there we go. There we go. It's not as pink as the, what the heck? Okay, I'm going to move this. Like, so, as you can see, so there we go, more metallic-y. And see, it looks like a, it looks like a, um, highlighter. And you'll get my point exactly, because I have a liquid highlighter over here from Wet n Wild. I am sorry. Where I live, everyone thinks that either their sound system should be booming, that you hear it from the next block, or that their car should be sounding like a motorboat, or their truck should be loud, or whatever. That's where I am in Maryland. It's like... Either got your super ghetto people or your super redneck people. And then you got me. So then we have, before I even say what it is, I'm about to put it on. We have the Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter from Wet n Wild in SKU number 305A, Rosy and Ready. And you pull it, ooh, pull it out like that. Got a little brush. 
I'm going to just compare the two. So as you can see, there's your highlighter. There's your highlighter. Oh yeah, that looks better if I go farther away. There's your highlighter. Very nice pinky color. It looks really good on my skin when I actually have makeup on. Of course, I choose to do a video when I have no makeup on. My hair is a mess and my, I look like crap. So, I'm going to wipe all this off with a piece of paper. Lovely. Um, another thing I've... Okay, so I have some three of the six things I'm going to show. I finally broke down and spent almost $25 on this little, not little, this little thing. I had to do it. Everyone raves over it. I have saw reviews that this mascara makes or breaks their makeup look. My friend said she swears by it and her, her eyelashes look aren't. Her eyelashes, like, they either clump really badly or they're like, they're not super long, but like, when she started using this, I thought she was wearing falsies. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I don't know why it has to be called that. Why? Because Too Faced is all about like their chocolate palette, their sweet peach. Why do they have to have their mascara be better than sex? I'm sorry, but I don't like them. But I got mine the waterproof. Oh my goodness. This is the best mascara ever. It's $25, so it's a little pricey. But I broke down and got it. But when they say waterproof, they mean waterproof. It is hard to get off in the shower. It's hard to get your makeup wipes to get it off. It is hard to get off. But it is long lasting and it makes them full and long. So you get your little, ugh, your little brush like this. It's like a little hourglass brush. And you can get to all the little creases like that. And I got this about a month ago. So it has lasted me so far a month, and we'll see how long it continues to last me. I know they say get new mascara every six months, so probably by then I'll be out of this or it'll be dried out. So we'll see. But anyway, most money I've spent on makeup in a while is on this little guy. So anyway, next product is the Wet n Wild Photo Finish Face Primer in Matte. It says, same formula, new look. So, me be me watching all these other YouTubers that I follow, saying primer makes or breaks a makeup look. Or primer is a necessity. And then, like, I'm on that influencer app, and I, like, asked people, I was like, what is the big thing about matte, not matte, well, what is the big thing about primer and does it really make a difference? And everyone's like, oh my gosh, yes, it is. Here's some brands I love here. I'm like, they're recommending Chanel. They're recommending like L'Oreal, Urban Decay, which that's fine. I can afford some of that, but Chanel, really, I cannot afford. Because I've looked at Chanel's makeup. Yes, it's nice, but I cannot afford like $60. I mean, I really, if it's like this size, I don't want to pay more than like $10. I paid $4.99 for my Wet n Wild one. And it's awesome. And it does make a difference. So I recommend this entirely, especially if you're one that likes good quality makeup, you're about like cruelty free products, and you want to sit, like, have a budget, you want to budget your makeup. Of course, my bone's dying too, so I'm sorry about that. So, this I definitely recommend if you want a matte look. I don't know what the dewy formula looks like. I'm more of a matte because my skin's oily anyway, so I don't want to look even more oily. So, that's this. This is, I got this at Rite Aid for $4.99, and I still have it. Oh, I know I've been saying the price of this was after tax 24 Everything is falling. This was about $3.99. This was $4.99. This at Walmart was $3.99. This big bottle, which is about five ounces of this. Yeah, so. So then I was like, okay, I love, con not concealer, I love contour and highlighter. 
I used to use powder. And I was like, powder's just not doing it. Plus, I was running out of my Kat Von D. And Kat Von D's even refillables are like $15 for a little square like this big. And I was almost out of all of them except two. So, 15 times 4 is almost the cost of a whole new palette. So, I was like, no, I don't have $50. I'm not going to do that. Love you, Kat Von D, but you're not taking my 50 unless it's for your tattoo liner and your foundation. Sorry. Um, so, what did I do? I bought more Wet n Wild. I saw this on Ulta's website. But that's another story about Ulta. How much I love them now more than Sephora. That'll be another video. Um, because I'm almost at 50. I am at 15 minutes. Oh, Lord. Me just rambling about random shit. Lovely. Um, this is the... Ew. I have mascara all over my hand. I'm breaking out on my face. I'm just a hot mess. This is the Wet n Wild, anyway. Dual end contour stick. It has your highlighter one end and your contour on the other. But this one says it is vegan and cruelty free. If anyone watches this video, anybody, because, I mean, my friends will watch it, but... Of course they're going to watch it. They're my friend. They're my friends. Like, of course. If anyone knows what the difference between vegan and cruelty-free products are, please tell me. I don't know. Like, cruelty-free, I thought, because they don't test on animals, but what's the difference between not testing on animals and vegan? I'm so confused. So, anyway, back to it. So, you get your... Oh, that's the... That's not what I wanted to pull out first. You get your little... It look, comes out like lipstick, almost. You get your little highlighter or illum, illumin. I guess this is, yeah, this is in another language. Illumin. But, and, yeah, I'm going to put it on my hand. It's like a little cream. It's very creamy. Very good. I paid $4.99 for this also. That's like their big price wet and wild. It's $4.99. So you get that and then you add your contour which I should have checked which color I was getting because I kind of got the darker one instead of the lighter one because the lighter one is more instead of like it's like more lighter brown and peachy to that but there's that plus I use this with it even though it comes with a highlight I when I use a highlight I like the shine and stuff because I'd rather use highlighter than like blush because I feel like blush I look like a clown and like you blend Ooh, okay it made my hand look slimmer which that's another story for you I my mom let me do her makeup that'll be a story she did not know what contour or highlighter was I put it on her face and she's like why is my nose smaller and I was like that is contour for you and she's like what's contour that will be another video. But anyway, that's some products that I now have been using since I uploaded last. I've been using a lot of stuff, actually. But to do that, that would be an hour video. And you don't want to watch me talking for an hour. Trust me. Um, but, sorry, I'm looking at my nails. I just had them done. So they're like little flip-flops and a little starfish. And they're like a sea green and a little corally color. I like that on my face, too about summery, summery stuff. So anyway, that was an update on Taylor. So fun, fun, and I will be hoping to post again before summer is over, before I go back to school, because then I probably won't post it all again. I know, I, my bio says I'll post one to three times a month. And here I am posting for the first time in six months. Poor shame, Taylor. Poor shame. But anyway, that's an update from Taylor. Hope you guys enjoy. Please, someone watch this besides my friends. Please. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. And that is all I'm asking. I'm just a crazy girl. Yeah. See ya.